is our final day. This is the last day we have to get this bitch of a video in the can. You know, we don't need rehearsal as much as we need luck at this point. We just need the stars and the planets to line up. We've done our part. We did everything we could. We've made every, every possible preparation for this to go right. So I feel pretty confident, but I am scared. And uh, my stomach's upset. I'm feeling anxious. I just want to to be doing it. We have potentially three flights. We've never done that before. I don't know how that's going to go, so I'm really hoping we get it in the first two flights because, you know, Damien passed out yesterday. I did a big bunch of spinning, grabbed onto the drink carts, and then next thing I know, I was like in a dream, and I was in this weird place, sort of like emerging from a tunnel or something like that, and uh, I, I could have been five minutes, it could have been two seconds. As it turns out, it was more like five seconds. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but, um, and I watched it on screen. I thought it'd be really funny to watch on screen. It's not funny. Wow, I think we're getting better and better and closer to nailing like a really magical take of the video. I think the physical toll is starting to really hit the point where we need to stop doing this. Out of all of our videos, this one, I think is, is probably the biggest stretch for us physically and psychologically. We're still at the point, even yesterday, where every take is better than the last but I think that's gonna turn around here pretty soon with fatigue and exhaustion and stress. So I just hope we just get it. Greatest save of the pinata. <laughs> Grabbing it, swinging. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> That's awesome. pretty brilliant. There's our deal killer. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Oh, the little paper that I just wrote? No, no, little, no it's, uh, Th this schedule, little paper. Schedule for today, yeah. That, that's it. Sorry for disturbing. Did you Sorry. meet Tomas? Hey, Tomas, say hi to everybody. That's Tomas. Good He's morning. He's assistant director. Yeah. He's the one who. Nice to everything. hear you. I do my job. I love my job. We've really gotten to bond with our crew. Um, both on the plane and in production, and we kind of all became a family. We don't speak any Russian, and most of the people on the crew don't speak any English, and so it's been really amazing to me to be able to pull off something that's actually pretty difficult and challenging with a group of people that don't even speak the same language. That to me is a real special thing that went on during this project. The trainers have been amazing the whole time. Uh, super cool to us and because there's such a language barrier they had no idea what we were doing at first but now we're doing takes now they see what we're doing the sequence that we're going through I think they really just want to help and they want to get something great too they're really invested in it being right and so, in fact so invested that they start kicking our film crew out of the way so that they can do that they're like I, I got this camera move let me do this you know the whole flight crew has become assistant directors it's awesome you know, through interpreters and through kindness and body language, be able to communicate with this other group of people that are behind the scenes that are all working their butts off to hit points right on time. And it's gone over the fence into this is about heart.
me look at this morning real quick. Thunderdome from this morning? Yeah. Can we see the eight from this morning on the end of it? We have a safety. I think this one tacks on well enough yeah. to the seven. The seven is magical. This is good. I think we don't have to go up again. It's a question of do we just, you know, we're never going up in that fucking plane ever again after today. Do we just want to go up for the eight? It's a half of a flight, essentially, and just try it. I'm for it. Let's go. Let's do it. You know, I, get, I guess we only go around this thing once. <laughs> and I, I guess I'm lucky to have some pretty good people to, to, go, to go around with. Being in this band and working with Damien, Andy and Dan and Trish, there's sort of like an unspoken thing creatively that we all know when we've gone too far and we like that. We, we all know, oh man, we really went too far. I suppose maybe when we go that far, it feels like, okay, that's what we wanted to say. That's from us. This is from our heart. This is from our minds and our souls. We somehow need to reach a little bit further in order to feel like this is from us. I don't know, in 10 years, I'll probably think that I can't believe we did it. Not that I can't believe we pulled it off, but I can't believe we did it at all. But who knows what OK Go is going to do in the next 10 years. This is a... This is a complete...